In this video, I'll be sharing with you seven daring fragrances with superior complement giving power. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're first time here, my name is Mehdi. I'm talking about fragrances. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notifications by my new uploads. Let's start the list by House of Thierry Mugler. We have here pure tanka. It is a dark, overburned, sugary or overburned caramel type of fragrance with prominent licorice and coffee. It smells very unusual, daring. You cannot come across easily to these type of fragrances. It is very unique in a good way. I believe that prominent licorice and coffee saved fragrance a lot from being too much daring. In terms of compliments and ladies reactions, it is average, a little bit above average. I was not expecting anything, any positive comments, compliments. Then this fragrance, but it seems that ladies like that licorice coffee atmosphere of this fragrance. Performance is better compared to other aim and flankers, last 10 to 12 hours plus which is not possible by other flankers like Pure Malt, Pure Heaven. With 2 hours average projection and sillage, best season for this one is Fall and Winter. Mostly of my fragrances in the collection are a better complement at the first hour, except few of them, like Monstera Red Tobacco, which is a better complement after first hour than applying. So forget about the opening of this fragrance. I can say red tobacco is not at all a compliment either at first hour. It is very medicinal, animalic and absolutely daring. But after first hour, it is more likely to get compliments for you. It is not a compliment monster after first hour, but turns to a fragrance that you can expect some compliments than that DNA after dry them. It smells very woody, rich, dark, smoky in a smooth way, I can say. It's not that much potent at the dry down, but projects well. You can catch also hints of tobacco and sweetness of vanilla a little bit at the background, at the dry down. Lasts on me 10 to 14 hours plus easily with 2-3 hours, very loud projection and sillage. The best season for this one is winter, it is too loud even for fall. And I prefer it for dressed up situations and night times. Next fragrance is Jazz Club by Mazon Margiela. So scent of this fragrance is very green, herbal to my nose. It smells green, tobacco -y, boozy and spicy by hints of sweetness at the back. Reminds me of Amouage Memoaman and Dolce & Gabbana Devon EDP. Like mixture of both of those fragrances. But I can say I get a lot of notes, inspirations from Amouage Memoaman in this fragrance. So if you have a smelt Amouage Memoaman or Dolce & Gabbana Devon EDP, you're gonna get a hybrid of both of those fragrances, like that mysterious wet tobacco -y, dark atmosphere of Amouage Memoaman without that smoky note, plus that spicy cardamomy, boozy feel of Dolce & Gabbana Devon EDP together. Performance is average with this one, like five to six hours. Mm, barely six hours with first hour, hour and a half average again. Projection and siege, very soft, mild, polite type of projection and siege. I prefer it for indoor situations. The best season for this one is cool springs and fall, and maybe a little bit winter indoor situations. Let's continue by House of Salvatore Fregamo at number four Salvatore Fregamo Gumo signature. At the opening scent of the fragrance is a bit fresh, slightly green, very less at the back spicy leathery by a very sweet almost sticky sweet base but as time goes scent of fragrance will be more dark at the dry down and you can feel less fresh notes at the dry down hence of fresh notes is available there but fragrance turns more spicy or leathery at the dry down so at the dry down this fragrance is more daring even compared to the opening I believe this is one of the best examples in my collection for complimenting and daring fragrances title. It is a daring fragrance, this is absolutely not for everybody. Overly sweet, if you are not a sweet lover, this is not for you. Spicy, leathery, we have a lots of daring notes, nuances here. But in the same time, this is a very crazy complimenter and lady pleaser type of fragrance. About performance, it is a long lasting fragrance, lasts on me like 7 to 8 hours plus easily in terms of longevity. With 2 hours average projection CH is kind of better in this fragrance compared to projection. The best season for this one is fall and winter. It smells a little bit more dressed up, 
like 60% and 40% casual. Very great because of that mild projection CH for closing encounters. Next fragrance is Spice Bomb Extreme. Like the name, scent of the fragrance is very spicy, peppery, coriandery, slightly clovey to my nose. I thought that this detail is making noise, but I was wrong. I have no idea what is this. Anyway, scent of the fragrance is very spicy, not for everybody, a bit daring I can say. If you are not into spicy fragrances, this is absolutely not for you. By hints of some honeyish coziness and tobacco at the background. I believe this is another great example for this title. Daring and in the same time complimenting fragrances. Absolutely not for everybody, this is a spicy oriental. Kinda 70% or 60% in the niche side and 40 or 30%. In the designer side, not a safe blind by worthy type of fragrance. Performance is great, like 7 to 8 hours plus. In terms of longevity, with 2 hours. Average, a little bit above average projection on CH. Best season for this one is fall and winter. Smells a little bit more dressed up, like 60% dressed up, 40% casual. Next fragrance is Prada Loam Intense, the king. A very rich and complex fragrance. It is floral because of iris, not lipstick powdery because of iris. It is leathery and rich, dark. It is spicy because of cardamom and black pepper, woody because of sandal, cedar. Man, and such a strong base because of tanka. Very rich, sticky type of sweet tanka base. As you can see, Prada Loam Intense is not as popular as regular EDT version, which is way safer and cleaner compared to this fragrance, but in terms of longevity, projection, CH complements, if it is not more than that fragrance, believe me, it is not less. It is also a versatile fragrance, like the original one, I can say 9 out of 10, I break one note because of seasons, it has that seasons factor to it, it is better for fall and winter, dress this, no problem, any situation, any occasion, 10 out of 10. So let's continue by the most complimenting and in the same time, daring fragrance on the list, from House of Parfums de Mali none other than Herod. So scent of this fragrance is jammy, ashy, sweet, tobacco -y, very rich, dark, and slightly smoky. Reminds me of Paco Rabanne 1 million, closer to 1 million Privé, that sour cherry jammy vibe is mutual here, plus this fragrance is way more ashy, smoky, and spicy compared to those fragrances and daring. In terms of performance, these two horses will run all the day for you, 12 14 hours plus in terms of longevity with 2 3 hours. Very great projection and sillage. The best season for this one is fall and winter, and it smells a little bit nighttime and dressed up. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. That was today's video. If you have any opinion, suggestion, question, let me know in the comments below. I will answer you. See you in another video.